Bill is, I may give them a prize. You go to Marion, and then you go to Harrisburg, and then you head towards Galconda, and you end up in Eddyville. I haven't heard of some of those names. That's where I was on Sunday. Then I was up in Champaign yesterday. Ario Speedwagon. Champagne zone. Really, really cool. How about that? We uh, we digress a little bit because As we usual. often do. Back with you, the Martin Kilquin Show. Martin and Randy Naughton until noon. Then Carney is part of the conversation, taking them up to the Carney Show at one right now. Congresswoman Ann Wagner is on the program, and I believe this may be a Kilquin Show first. Uh, joining us here, uh, Congresswoman, how are you? I'm terrific, Martin. Great to be with you and uh, and with Randy. Randy, I, when I'm in town, I wake up with you every morning. Well, so. aren't you a delight? Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You know, and Congresswoman, Smart woman, woman, this one, I this love is, that's yeah, right. I, I'm sorry, the, the, the reception is cutting out, Randy. I think we're, we're losing her at this point. Uh, we actually hosted an event together when the Moving Wall was here, the Vietnam Wall, the yes. moving exhibit. That what was really display, cool. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, I love to do. Anything that concerns our military and our veterans, you know, we're going to be uh, uh, coming up this spring, um, uh, being sure to uh, talk about some of our post offices that we're doing and we're naming in honor of our fallen heroes here in the second district. So we'll let you know when those hit, too. I love that idea. Well, and I'd like to point out, because a lot of times politicians decide about war and military action and they have no investment, they're not, uh, you know, personally connected to it, but you have a son in the military who is currently overseas, correct? Uh, well, he's back from overseas. He has, in fact, on a deployment in uh, in Afghanistan. But, yeah, he's a St. Louis homegrown St. Louis U high boy who uh, is a West Point grad, a captain in the United States Army, wow. uh, served in the 101st Airborne, and is down at some officer uh, uh, training right now and is waiting for his next assignment. And deployment, God love him. So you're right, Randy, or uh, Martin, I am, uh, I have uh, personal Skin in the game, I will say. So, um, well, thank him um, for his service, and and I think the families deserve as much thanks as the as those serving as well. A- amen, amen. <laughs> well, and Congresswoman, we have you on today. You made an announcement this morning, and when we hear human trafficking, I'll be honest. My first thought is third world country, maybe over in Africa somewhere. But you're bringing to light uh, human trafficking that's more close to home. Absolutely. You know, I, I became involved in this issue, uh, Martin and Randy, and for your listeners, when I was a United States ambassador, and I dealt with a, a lot overseas uh, and uh, in some of the more developing worlds, but I have to tell you that human trafficking is right here, hiding in plain sight, anywhere upwards of 100,000 to 300,000 of our young people in particular, ages probably 11 to 16, uh, fall prey to this, uh, what I call modern-day sex slavery. It, it falls both uh, in in the form of, of, of sex slavery and in um, actual labor trafficking also uh, both fall under this. But it is in every neighborhood, every cul-de-sac, every faith community, and every one of our school districts. Uh, and so today we are having a human trafficking program talking about uh, trafficking in American school, the training sessions for our educational uh, professionals. And I'm so thrilled. We have uh, well over 100 educators that uh, will be training today in, in two different sessions and giving them the kind of the, the tools and the training so that uh, they can keep our children from falling prey to these sexual predators. Um, overall, what, what is going to be the message to these educators, what to look for in the schools, in the family dynamic? I mean, what specifically are going to be looking for? Uh, absolutely. We're going to be talking about all of those kinds of, of issues, um, kind of an overview of, of human trafficking and how it affects our schools, how to identify warning signs and risk and at-risk behavior, and to help them develop a kind of a multi-tiered response protocol and um, uh, talk about uh, some of the, uh, uh, of the tools that they need uh, to be aware of in identifying those that may be involved in their uh, school communities, and also educating with the children, our children, how to be safe, whether it's online, whether it's uh, who they're they're talking to, uh, what may be going on in their social media. Uh, you know, I sponsored the Save Act, which stopped uh, online advertising or made it a criminal offense to online advertise uh, our children. Um, through the Backpage.coms and these other hideous and awful Internet websites that literally, Randy, allow people to order up 
uh, little girls, little boys to their hotel room, their homes, as easily as they would a pepperoni pizza. It's deplorable. So that was signed into law last uh, last May, and uh, I'm gratified to have kind of led the effort on that and a, a number of other legislative groundbreaking things that we've done uh, to bolster our law enforcement, our prosecutors, uh, penalties, uh, services funding for safe houses, things of this nature. So, But there's only so much we can do legislatively. You have to also uh, raise the awareness and education on this issue. Uh, and I work with uh, hotels and our convention and visitors bureaus, uh, transportation modes, uh, our health care professionals that are on the front line. And now, today, we've, we've really been working over months now, starting with the superintendents, and now we're on the front line counselors uh, that are, are going to hopefully take this back to their school communities and, and keep our children safe. So there's the obvious threat with online activity. Where else does it play out? So for parents that are listening, I mean, are we talking about, you know, runaways, kids that are on the street that get kind of grabbed, or where else does it play out? Uh, sure, it, it, it can play out anywhere, and there are those that are have a, a higher risk propensity, especially those that um, uh, may be uh, uh, disabled. Uh, uh, some of our, our uh, of our uh, at risk children that come from uh, homes that have a, a difficult situation. They may be in foster care. It uh, it's but it's everywhere. You know, a kid that may be on Facebook complaining about their parents. Uh, can be preyed upon, uh, and they, they will place these predators in the schools. And it can be someone, you know, I sadly heads up a cheerleading squad. Uh, before you know it, these girls are, are lured into this, uh, this way of life, someone preying upon their vulnerabilities, their desperation, their youth, uh, and, and then they're, they're literally trafficked and shipped from uh, city to city to city, and it becomes a, a form of of life that is, uh, as I said, modern day slavery, and it is hiding, as I said, in plain sight in every one of our neighborhoods. So uh, we have to uh, be aware and vigilant. A lot of our schools, as you know, do training on on uh, drugs and heroin addiction, on bullying, on safe space. I want them to also educate our our children on um, on the scourge of of uh, sex trafficking and human trafficking and how they can be aware. Uh, and take precautions to stay safe. Congresswoman Ann Wagner with us on KTRS, of course, U.S. House of Representatives, the Missouri 2nd District with us here on KTRS. Down the road, we'll talk to you more about the election. I'm just curious, as a Republican, Uh, uh, any concern about the tone or the behavior as this thing has played out? Do you sit and wonder? I think the RNC has even said, let's work on the tone a little bit. Yeah, I I shake my head in disbelief, not just as a... uh, you know, a member of the Republican Party who has uh, worked to elect uh, good conservatives uh, to office. And I I obviously have a member of Congress myself. But as a mother, as a parent, I mean, my heavens, it's it's time that we restore civility, uh, lift up the the dialogue and talk about policies and uh, and, and movement and how our vision is moving forward and what America uh, needs to, to look like. So, I hope to see a more elevated uh, discussion going going forward. And and on my side of the aisle, I'm looking for a nominee that's going to be a real principled uh, conservative. That's what I want, and uh, that's what I think uh, a number of of, uh, of Republicans want to see in a nominee. So uh, Missouri's going to be at the eye of the storm coming next Tuesday, and. Uh, I look forward to focusing on that a little later in the week and over the weekend. Uh, I'll be out doing the Cottleville Parade and some Lincoln Day events. And uh, But for today, I'm going to put my efforts b- behind uh, uh, making sure that our education professionals uh, have the tools and, as I said, training they need for uh, human trafficking issues. Yeah, and hosting a training session today for education professionals that's taken place. Congresswoman Ann Wagner hosting that on her resume. So many different things from working with Hallmark to being the ambassador for Luxembourg. It doesn't say on Wikipedia that she's a second mom to Mark Zinn, although he claims <laughs> he Congresswoman Ann, he, he told Randy and I off air, he said, you know, she's she's sort of like my second mom. And I looked through the Wikipedia, four pages deep, no reference to Mark Zinn. Well, make sure, Mark, if you're listening, that uh, they've got my age right. I always have to have my sons watch Wikipedia. They always make me older than I am. I, I really, I really hate that. Randy, That's you know what I mean. That's only a number. No biggie. <laughs> no biggie at all. No, but Mark Zinn is. Uh, oh, he's the best. He was just uh, in my my son's, my oldest son's wedding, and 
Um, well, he's, he is a second kid to me, and I, I love him to pieces, and I'm so proud that he's producing the show and, and doing really? great work. Wow, all right. <laughs> Somebody's proud of Mark. This is, a, this is a first on the show. Well, Ann, thanks so much for hopping on, and good luck with the event. Thanks.